Good morning. I am Peter Abiel. I'm a professor at UC Berkeley, and I work on robot learning. Just a couple years ago, some friends of mine were trying to build a new robot platform, and this is the video they share with me of their robot. This robot is doing the kinds of chores that we've been hoping for robots to do, it seems like, forever. But there is a catch. One of my friends is very carefully joysticking around this robot to make it do these tasks. Still, to me, this was super inspiring. This meant that if we could just build the artificial intelligence software to drive this robot, we could all have rosy robots in our households taking care of our work. So why is it so hard? Why don't we have that AI software? Why is it so hard to program the robots? When a robot sees the world, it doesn't see people or chairs. It sees pixels. When a robot acts in the world, you can't just ask it to throw a ball or to pick up a mug. You have to ask it to move its motors around. It's proven really hard to program a robot at this level. What I've been working on is something called apprenticeship learning. The idea of apprenticeship learning is that rather than programming specific tasks, you program a robot to have the ability to learn from you demonstrating how the task should be done. The robot forms an internal representation of how the task should be done, then executes the task, and from there onwards can improve its performance on the task. This allowed us to do some things that were not possible before. Let me share your first example with you. This is a computer-guided helicopter, fully autonomously flown. Helicopters are notoriously difficult to control because of their unstable, nonlinear, highly coupled dynamics. Just keeping a helicopter in the sky is a difficult problem. This helicopter is going to fly expert, world expert level aerobatic maneuvers. This is by far the most advanced helicopter to date. And this was enabled through our expert pilot demonstrating how he flies the helicopter and our apprenticeship learning framework learning from that. Some of the maneuvers we're able to do include loops, TikToks, chaos, in place flips, very fast backwards flying circles called hurricanes, and so forth. Any maneuver our exit pilot could do, our helicopter could learn through our software to also do. Let me share another example. Here's a robot arranging socks. The way we taught the program how the robot how to do this is by providing a couple hundred examples of socks to the robot. We would annotate for each of the socks where is the toe, where is the heel, where is the opening. We'd annotate whether a sock is inside out or not, which sock should be matched. From that, the robot internalizes those concepts, and when we presented new socks, it's able to sort them, flip them inside out whenever needed, and bunch them together the way we want them to be bunched together. Here's a third and final example. What you're seeing here is a robot trying to arrange your laundry. For now, it's towels. Um, this is a very hard task for robots. Why is this so hard? Well, this is hard because what's hard for robots is tasks with a lot of variability. And any time you throw a clothing article in front of a robot, even if it's the same article, that article will appear in a different way in front of the robot. And so in this case, these towels, um, every time you throw them on the table, they'll be a little different. The robot will have to go through a different sequence of motions to be able to fold them and stack them away neatly. Thank you.